Hello, and welcome to another edition of Potluck, your everything and anything talk and entertainment TV show. My name is Laura Hartman, and I am your host. Today, we have a very special show. With us, we have a band who is um, a, a trio instrumental rock. Um, I don't know what your, I think your genre is kind of mixed, but uh, anyway, they're pretty much amazing, and um, they're going to be um, doing a, lot, a number of songs for us today. Plus, we'll you know get in a little interview. So, please um, welcome their band members. Please welcome Alyssa Taylor, who plays the violin. Um, Bill. Bar Martin, Martin, right. Martin um, who, who's on guitar, and Matt Clark, who's on the on the drums. So welcome to the show, guys. Thank you. So, um, with further ado, let's. Uh, they're going to play three songs and or four songs, and I'll come back to interview.
you guys did an awesome job. Thank you so much yeah, for joining thanks. us. So, um, thanks for having us. So you start FK Radium started in what year? 2008. 2008. Yes. Okay. And how did did you guys know each other before you started, or what? Yeah, we did know each other, and Matt was playing in another band at the time. Okay. And uh, we've all we were all friends mm -hmm. prior to that. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. And, and I actually hadn't played in eight years. Bill was Bill was playing guitar and writing music, and right. decided that he needed to go into more classical, have some more strings. Okay. So I pulled it out of the closet, and right, we joined right. together in June of 2008. Yeah. Okay, very cool. Almost six years ago. So why did you take a break from I, playing violin? Life, you know. I got it. I graduated, took a job, stopped doing all creative things, uh -huh. and then Bill said, "Why the heck aren't you doing more creative things?" Okay. So I pulled it back out again, and we wrote a song, and he held me to it. He said, either I'll find somebody to play it, or you'll play it. And I uh -huh. played it. Okay. So Great. Yeah. Um, so when did, how long have you been playing guitar? 33 years. 30, wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, and you on the drums? I've been playing 21 years. 21 years? Yeah. Wow. So have you been in other bands as well? Yeah, I did. Um, I played in punk bands when I was younger, uh -huh. and then uh, marching band like all through college. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, very cool. So, who who writes the music? I write the guitar parts, and okay. uh, as a framework for the song, and then Matt and Alyssa have really awesome pieces that they add to it. Mm -hmm. and that's how it happens. So okay. I tried to get them to write a song first, but they won't do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And and what um, did you ever want to bring in a, like a singer or you just want no, to keep it clearly just instrumental? Absolutely nobody. We, we, we've had three so of us, many. Yeah, we've had so many requests and we turn them all down. Yeah, a lot of people <laughs> ask to be our singer. Really? And bass player. Those two we get all the time, but mm -hmm. it would not work out. It's so hard to find people that'll be consistent enough for six right, years. Right, right. Yeah. We just decided if it works, don't mess with it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and it does, and it does work because you guys are, are known pretty much globally, mm -hmm. right? Um, sure, yeah. You've done some music videos. So tell us about the music videos. Um, oh, Bill, talk about the music okay. videos. Okay. okay. Bill, you talk about the <laughs> so, music videos. Uh, we had uh, we have a music video with a kaleidoscope um, that's done well. We also have a music video that was filmed in Iceland by um, a videographer that w we weren't there, but and <laughs> a lot of people, everybody thinks we were there. But okay. So uh, there's a video film there also in France from a train from the Eurorail. And uh, the one from France, the Eurorail, is one that's pretty well known, and also one filmed in Spain. We've looked into filming in Romania. We've looked into filming in other, typically focusing on European countries. Okay. So um, our music uh, is is kind of thought of as like dark and uplifting and sad, but uplifting at the same time. Okay. So in Europe, um, they've been around for you know, thousands and thousands and thousands of years, whereas uh, us Americans, you know, we just got here. Right. So our music, I think, responds or it's felt more deeply by a European than it is felt by an American. Interesting. And I like America, but. Uh, anyway. So do you think that um, one day you'll be in the music videos, maybe over in Europe? We don't like to be in our music Probably videos. Not. You don't like to be in? No. Okay. Our okay, so you, so you emphasize on the music. Yeah, instrumental bands are really about, I would say, uh, a cinematic, in effect, a cinematic experience. Okay. And um, we are in, kind of in the background, in a sense. So we put it's it out there, but we don't, we don't want them. We're, we're not a rock band where it's about our personalities. Right. It's about the music and about the cinematic experience, and our personalities really, frankly, don't matter. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, and you wouldn't like us anymore, sure? too. Yeah, yeah. Everybody's personality matters, yes. but... But um, whatever true. you bring your to it yourself. Matters. Okay. You know, it leaves it most open for the listener. Okay. Okay, so going back mm -hmm. to the genre, because your music is a mix array of, like, yeah. everything. We call, we call know, it chamber rock. Chamber, okay. Chamber rock. So, you know, I obviously have a classical background. Bill is a lot of rock, and Matt comes from rock and punk and okay. marching band and all that. So... We originally called it music box. We kind of pictured like a little hand wound music box where you had three voices <laughs> uh -huh. coming out of it, like sure. kind of this organic feeling sound. Okay. But chamber rock is a much more globally accepted genre, you okay. know, so people understand what that means okay. a little bit more. So it's a mixture of classical yeah. and rock. Oh, very cool. Mm -hmm. So d tell us about your CDs, um, I, which I believe are right yeah. here. Yeah, we wrote so, we, um, the first song we played today was called Blue Siberia. That was the title track off of our first album, okay. uh, which we released in 2008, 9, 10. 
10. <laughs> Time goes by fast. I know. And then we released Solitude Rotation um, in September of 2012. That's right. Yep. Okay. And so can people, you know, You can get go there straight online. from our website, starfkradium.com. Okay. Um, so you can find links to buy it there. You can find and it on, on iTunes. iTunes. iTunes is okay. Fun. Amazon. Great. Everywhere you Great. want. So you can music. just Google, Google yeah, that's a good Star yeah. FK Radium. Star, and nobody else will come up if you Google Star FK Radium. Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty Great. sure. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, it's def definitely mm -hmm. a unique name. So <laughs> yeah. um, what about locally? Because you, all three of you are from the D.C. area. Yes, correct? now. Correct. Yes. Well, yeah. Yeah. Maybe not originally, but uh, right. are, are you? We all are living here for now, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you, you play here locally? We do, and we've played in uh, 16 states in the U.S. Oh, wow. So we did a tour out on the West Coast in 2010. Okay. And uh, essentially flew all, UPSed all our equipment out there and ran the whole tour and booked it ourselves. Wow. So, and how many days was that worth? It was, uh, I think we did seven or eight gigs wow. from uh, Seattle down to San Diego. Mm -hmm. That was a great time. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was really cool. Sounds like an awesome time. So that was actually, we did that so that we'd understand what it would be like to project management manage that experience in Europe. Okay. So um, when you play, though, in Europe, you have to have work visas. You cannot just play in Europe as an American. Oh. So you need to have work visas for any country you play in. Okay. That needs to be arranged in advance. So we would have to do that if we were to play over there. Okay. So is that, it sounds like that maybe that's a goal for you. Uh, we'd like to plan. do that, yes. Yeah, okay. We'll figure it out. Great. Great. <laughs> awesome. So what's next for you guys? What, like, you know, what are your inspiration, mm -hmm. your dreams, We're where, where do you see yourselves in the next uh, mm -hmm. a year or two? Other than in Europe. Yeah, I mean, we're, I think we're currently figuring out what that next album is going to be and where the music is going to go. Okay. We're starting to work on new music now. Okay, and do you, like, practice at your houses or, like, <laughs> you do you have, like, a have, studio or something? We have, we have one annual practice per year, actually. <laughs> like, literally, we've it's actually probably... The entire year. history yeah. of the band, yeah. we've practiced definitely less than 10 times, maybe 10 max. Really? Yeah. yeah. Wow, and you all are so talented, and, I mean, you sound great but, together. Thanks. But our gigs were the practices. Okay. We had enough of those at that. Yeah. Our, our, car, yeah. our, our eight hour one way car drives are the practices oh, of I getting guess. along. Well, that's true. <laughs> but yeah, so. the first year that we played, I think we probably played 100 shows. I mean, just because oh. we, need, we needed yeah. to practice. Sure. So that's sure. the way we did it. Wow. 100 shows. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's probably near that. Uh huh. So, who named your songs? I mean, like, what, the songs that you did today, what, are, what was the name of the first, second, third, and fourth mm. song? That's a great question. So. <laughs> what we played today? Yeah. yeah. Today we started with Blue Siberia. Okay. Um, and then we played uh, Will It Fly. Okay. Uh, then it went into Morning Star and My Favorite Color. Okay. And it's a group effort. It's, you know, if anybody has a strong feeling about what the song should be named, we talk it out. Okay. So Blue Siberia, yeah. for example, is named after Lake Baikal, which is in uh, Siberia, uh, Russia. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's where it came from. So there's uh, a lake that is called the Blue Pearl of Siberia, and I just named the song Blue Siberia. Okay. Yeah. There you go. That should be your next music video. <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. It'd be okay. perfect for us. Yeah. So um, what's the next song that you're going to play? We're going to end with Honey Jars. Honey Jars? Yep. With okay. Jars ending in a Z. Okay. Mm -hmm. yep. So again, uh, your website is starfkradium.com. Mm -hmm. Um, if you're just tuning into the show now, um, you're going to catch one more song, and you'll be able to catch us next week on the web at www.potluck-online.org. So we'll see you next time, and they're going to end with a, a wonderful song. And thank, thank you, you so again much. for joining Thanks. us, Laura. Thanks for having us. We appreciate it.